Dyke urges level-headed and relentless mentality. Sean Dyke is pleased with the growing feel-good factor at the club, but has iterated he'll be making sure the group stays grounded as the season enters the final nine crucial rounds. Everton's battling 1-1 draw with Tottenham on Monday night extended their unbeaten Premier League run to four matches, their longest since October, and helped them briefly climb up to 15th in the table. Understandably, the mood around the club is improved, but, speaking in Thursday's press conference ahead of Saturday's trip to Old Trafford, Dyke revealed that a consistent way of working is key to ensuring his players don't get too high or too low on the back of results. There's a certain way that I like the players and staff to work, said Dyke. So I would not say the ups and downs are too amazing. Instead, it's about maintaining a nice consistency in how we operate. The mood in the camp can be affected, but we have a consistent way of working throughout the ups and downs of what we do. But the mood is obviously impacted by the ups and downs of what we do, the feel-good factor of performing well. Performances have generally been good, we have scratched away in some games and played well in others. We have certainly shown a clear-minded spirit in our performances. I'm pleased with that because it's an important factor in a Premier League season. All these things add to something different. Keanu's goal adds a different feel to what was a strong performance, versus Spurs. That was 11 v 11, 10 v 11, 10 v 10, it was a strong performance level. That just added another feel-good factor to it. The fans got a reward for an outstanding performance from them. Like it has been since I arrived. They got the reward for staying behind the team and a fantastic moment for Keanu as well. A particular standout trait of Everton's recent positive run has been their fighting spirit. They were reduced to 10 men when Abdoulaye Dukori was sent off just before the hour mark on Monday. That was closely followed by Spurs taking the lead through Harry Kane's penalty. However, Michael Keane's stunning 25 yard drive on 90 minutes rescued a crucial point. That comeback followed Everton's 89th-minute equaliser in a 2-2 draw at Chelsea before the international break. Dyke believes the players deserve full credit for taking ownership in these matches and setting high standards within their performances. As a manager, I've always felt you guide players to what you think is appropriate, he explained. What you think is good for them as individuals and good for the group. Then eventually you want it to rub off so that they start taking ownership. Owning things. Not tactically, but looking after each other professionally. Maintaining standards and self-governing what we lay down as being important to the group and team. There's the expectation to deliver performances, and there are clear signs of that. The group are demanding more of each other, not just me and the staff. They are taking it on both in training and on the pitch. If you like the video, don't stay out, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell and leave your like. See you next time Everton News.